In our world lead, a mosque attacked in Afghanistan as the Taliban try to assert their control amid mounting violence. The terrorist group ISIS-K is now claiming responsibility for the suicide bombing that killed and wounded dozens of innocent people. This happy, happened in the city of Kunduz, which is about 150 miles north of the capital of Kabul, which is where we find CNN's chief international correspondent, Clarissa Ward. We should note the suicide bomber targeted a Shia mosque. ISIS and the Taliban, as you know, Clarissa, they're Sunni. That's right, Jake. And this is exactly the kind of hideous sectarian attack that Afghans have become all too used to uh, during the past years in which some had hoped maybe with the Taliban in control and the Taliban really uh, pushing this idea that they could provide security that maybe this would be a thing of the past. Well now we see very clearly that it is not a thing of the past. Those were ordinary Muslims, Afghans going to the mosque on Friday. Today is, of course, the Muslim holy day uh, for their after for their noon prayers when that huge blast hit, killing more than 40 people, injuring more than 100 people. And we do now have uh, a claim of responsibility, as you mentioned, from ISIS-K. And this, make no mistake about it, Jake, this poses a major challenge to the Taliban because, as I mentioned before, their main appeal to many people here is this idea that they can provide security, that they can put an end to the fighting. But this is not the first major attack we've seen. We saw one three days ago here in the capital and weeks before that, of course, at the airport. So Taliban now has a serious issue on its hand with this growing insurgency as it tries to show the Afghan people that it is able to govern this country, Jake. Larissa, today's bombing is, is part of a steady increase in violence following the Taliban takeover. What, what is the Taliban saying about that? Well, it's interesting. On the one hand, the Taliban isn't saying much at all, and they are very much trying to limit access. When there was a, a, a big explosion a few days ago at a mosque here in Kabul, they wouldn't let any journalists anywhere near the area. When there were a series uh, of raids on alleged ISIS safe houses here in Kabul that night, again, they wouldn't let journalists near the area. They released these perfunctory statements just saying, we've managed to kill this many ISIS-K terrorists, or we've managed to take out an ISIS-K cell, um, but they're not really willing to give the public a sense of what their overall strategy here is for dealing with this. And that may be because they haven't been in that position for a long time. You know, they were the insurgents for 20 years, Jake. Now they are the ones in control. They are dealing with a brutal, vicious insurgency. And, and it seems that they have their work cut out for them, trying to come up with some kind of a strategy uh, that will deal with this once and for all. And nothing that they have said so far publicly indicates that that solution might be imminent.